Hello, Amplified teachers. Thank you for having me today. My name is Eric. In the next five minutes, we'll look at the big picture of Amplified Science, what makes it tick, and leave the other details for a bit later. First stop, let's talk about Amplify, which you probably already know, and what it has to do with the Lawrence Hall of Science. So really, Amplify Science is a collaboration between the experts at Berkeley's Lawrence Hall of Science and the instructional technology experts at Amplify. Amplify Science is rooted in the research-based do, talk, read, write, and visualize model of learning and addresses the ELA anchor standards for reading informational text, writing, listening, and speaking. Now, have you ever had that experience where you just had to figure something out and stop learning about it. It reminds me of my first years of teaching. And when it comes down to it, I just had to figure it out. No more reading about it in classes or writing some theoretical lesson plan. I'm hoping this is something all teachers had to experience during their journey towards becoming a professional. Now, we'll ask our students to do something very similar as they start their own similar journey in each unit of Amplify Science. Students use high interest topics to engage their science and engineering practices, while you, the teacher, facilitate their learning with Amplify print, digital, and hands-on resources. So let's talk about problem-based learning and deep dives. The curriculum at Amplify Science is designed for students to explore topics with their hands, mind, and with each other. Let me give you a quick example from the Grade one, spinning earth unit. In the unit, students work as space scientists to figure out an explanation for this strange phenomena. Why is it never the same time of day for a grandmother who lives in Asia as it is for her grandson in the United States when she calls him? In this example, students would record, organize, and analyze their observations of the sun and other objects in the sky as they look for patterns to make sense of the cycle of daytime and nighttime to answer that question of why it's a different time for their grandmother than it is for them. So let's dig in and talk about phenomena since it's used in NGSS quite a bit. In this example, we have a topic of all about sea turtles. Now, one phenomena you might study to explore that topic is how do sea turtles defend themselves from sharks? Let's look at another one. The second topic is electric circuits. Now let's take a moment and talk with each other. What phenomenon could we study or a real life situation or question that has to do with electric circuits? Why don't you take 30 seconds, discuss it with your elbow partner and we'll come back. Great, thank you all for sharing. Here's the phenomena I decided to study. Why doesn't the flashlight work? Now, that's a pretty good phenomenon because, well, flashlights are familiar. They're simple electric circuits. You can take them apart, easily experiment with them. Now, let's look at the last topic, solutions. You know, like solutions like uh, chemistry and mixtures and that sort of thing. Now, let's take another 30 seconds to discuss what would be a phenomenon you or phenomena you would study with your students for the topic of solutions. Great, thanks for sharing. Here's the one I chose. Why does one substance dissolve, but another doesn't? You know, like salt dissolves in water, but not pepper. So remember, phenomena don't need to be a phenomenal to be academically productive. They just have to guide the students and engage them in the learning process. So moving the focus of instruction away from memorization and toward active engagement, NGSS aims to teach students to think like scientists engineers. NGSS consists of three dimensions and you've probably seen them or might be familiar. Let's just do a quick review. Science and engineering, that leads to inquiry-based thinking and communication. The disciplinary core ideas like earth, physical, life sciences, and what's added new in NGSS is technology and engineering. 
Third, cross-cutting concepts. Those are the seven skills used across all domains of science. Things like patterns, cause and effect, scale, and a few others. To help teachers recognize a three-dimensional structure, each unit, chapter, and lesson in Amplify contains a 3D statement that makes the integration clear. That way, students and teachers are both aware of how the three-dimensional learning is incorporated. Well, that's all the time we have for right now. But before we leave, let's take a moment to turn and discuss with your elbow buddy one thing you learned or one burning question you still have.